What's going on internet? IG here again today with another best of video. Today, we're having a look at the best email client for the Linux desktop. So I don't know about you, but I send quite a bit of email and I receive quite a bit of email across multiple email accounts. So what's the best program that's gonna manage all of your emails for you? Well, that's what we're having a look at today in the best email clients. Okay, so once again, let's start off with some of the obvious options. Now, obviously you do have webmail and by and large, that's what a lot of us use nowadays because of the fact it's easy to access, it looks the same no matter what platform you're using, but there is still an argument to be made for natively built email clients for the Linux desktop. And uh, let's have a look at some of the, first up, let's just have a look at some of the defaults that are gonna come on your distribution of choice. So first of all, probably one of the most obvious defaults for a lot of the GNOME-based distributions uh, is gonna be Evolution. Now, Evolution is both a mail and calendar suite that is uh, basically designed for the GNOME desktop. So it's written in GTK, it's been around for a really long time and most of us have seen or used Evolution before in the past. Now, what does this one do well? Well, really quickly, it does basically what Microsoft Outlook does in terms of its capability. It works really well with Exchange servers uh, from even from 2003 all the way up to 2010, which is great if you're trying to integrate with a workplace. Uh, and it does tie in with all your other accounts as well. Uh, obviously, you do have your contact management, memos, tasks, and calendars there as well. The problem is, however, this one is not really uh, very user-friendly when it comes to setting up your folders. You have to enter in all of your server stuff manually, so the setting up a new email account can be a little bit of a pain. So as you can see, if we go into preferences and go add, uh, you can see it'll run you through a little wizard of, uh, of what you want your uh, email account or even your uh, calendar account, etc., to be. However, you have to enter in all of these details manually, and it can be a real pain in the button if you get one thing wrong, obviously you're not gonna be able to connect to your email. So it's not the most user-friendly option there, not to mention it is buggingly slow. Uh, to load up messages, to send and receive. It reminds me of what an email client used to perform like back in the early, early 2000s, maybe the late 90s. Um, so that's evolution. It definitely does, uh, it does a lion's share of what you'd expect an email client to do, but it doesn't do it in the quickest and smoothest way possible. Um, so I guess, in conclusion, if you want an email client that's gonna be able to connect to Exchange servers well, it's gonna be able to integrate well in a workplace, then Evolution is kind of your best option, um, but it's not gonna do it, uh, it's not gonna do it very quickly or efficiently. So plenty of features there, but it leaves a bit to be wanting. If we go to the complete other side of the coin, we have Silfeed. And Silfeed is a very lightweight email client. Basically, this one is designed just to handle your email, and that's about it. When it comes to adding a new uh, a new mail account or mail folder, it is relatively straightforward with semi-automatic settings. You do still have to specify what kind of account that you want to set up, uh, whether it's a POP3, e uh, IMAP4, or whether it's a Gmail account, because apparently they have their own settings. And again, one uh, and once again, you will be adding your own. Uh, details to the setup process. So if you are using something other than Gmail, uh, it's not going to be terribly automatic for you either. The benefits, however, of Silfeed are the fact that it is wickedly fast uh, and it's also quite minimalistic. While it doesn't look like a million bucks, you can definitely still use uh, this email if you're going to be sending a lot of emails and you want to get it done quickly and efficiently. Uh, it's not the prettiest one, like I mentioned, and when it comes to full HTML support, it's not the best either. But when it comes to internal communication and you're just going to be firing off a lot of emails uh, on an everyday basis, and also maybe you don't have a lot of system resources to spare, then Silfeed is gonna be the one you're gonna to wanna to check out because it's lightweight, it does what it says on the tin, and that's really all you can ask for from an email client. So if we move on from there, we land on Geary. Now Geary is probably the one that I am most excited about. However, it just doesn't have all of the features that you would wish for yet. So Geary is an email client that personally I think looks fantastic. It's what I would want a modern day email client to look like. 
However, the features that they have available for Geary at this point are still kind of in their infant stages. While it is a very mature email client for the ones that it supports, such as Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Outlook, and other are configurable, it only supports very basic POP3 and IMAP email at this point. Uh, it'll be great to see what kind of expansion they can do with this email client as time goes on because as you can see it renders full HTML email just fine and dandy, it supports threaded emails, you've got all of your different folders and labels and tagging, uh, so really it this one has a lot of promise and this would be the email client that I would use on any distribution where you're going to be just wanting a basic email client that both looks good and functions well and it's no surprise that it comes standard on uh, more stylish distributions like elementary OS. But like I said, not a whole lot of support for other email accounts such as exchange servers or more enterprise standards of email. So for your personal email, not bad at all. For anything beyond that, you're probably going to be left wanting. Now of course, on the KDE side of things, we have Kmail. And while Kmail is a fantastic application that integrates very well with the KDE contact management suite, uh, or, well, known as contact, uh, it, it is, is fantastic on the KDE desktop, but it's virtually useless on any other desktop, uh, as you do need to install an awful load of dependencies to get it to work on any other desktop apart from a KDE-based desktop. Having said that, it is a fantastic email app, and while it does take almost the same level of setup and customization know-how as the Evolution mail client we looked at earlier, uh, it definitely has a lot to offer in terms of integration with the desktop. It's probably, probably one of the best integrated email clients out of everything that I've discussed today. So if you're on a KDE distribution, you chances are you've probably already used Kmail. However, some of the features that it does lack is proper email rendering, the speed of it can be a bit dubious at times, and like I said, it's not the most user-friendly to set up and get going. And that leaves us with our best email client. And I was very, very torn about this because I really like Geary as an email client, but it doesn't quite have the features that I need yet to use it as the go-to daily email client that I would use on a new Linux desktop. So as most of you and by now would have guessed, Thunderbird is the one to beat. Um, basically, Mozilla has just been doing it longer and doing it better than anyone else in the business for quite some time. And while they've got their rendering down pat, uh, the speed of it is not too bad as far as email clients go. It's really Thunderbird's expansion that makes it the email client to beat. The fact that you can c customize the way that Thunderbird looks, the way that you can customize the add-ons and extensions like you can with Firefox to add things like Exchange support or Google Calendar tie-ins or anything other than basic email, uh, you can add it on and bolt it on and make uh, and make Thunderbird as beastly as you wish. Also with the Lightning Calendar integration, uh, there's some very tight integration there to basically basically slot in with any kind of workflow or, uh, or personal information management suite that you have going, whether it's in your business, uh, personal, or even just with some of your phones. Uh, it will be able to tie in with those quite well. So what did you think of my picks? If you agree, let me know in the comments below. And if you disagree, let me know and leave your suggestion as to what you think the best email client should be. Obviously, these are all based on my own opinion and experience, so your mileage is gonna vary. But hopefully, in one of these picks, you're gonna be able to find an email client that is both powerful, fun to use, and more importantly, just suits the way that you work. Productivity is a good thing. All right, that'll be all from me in this video, guys. If you liked what you see here and you want to see more, then definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you're liking this series, then don't be shy with that like button. I will see you all in the very next video. Until then, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I will catch you all in the very next video.